Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Centangle Teacher. And I was so excited when I got the email from Zentangle.com yesterday about the they're finally releasing a new tangle. And of course, if you're a CZT, you know of this tangle. And you've probably, hopefully, taught it in your class because I've taught it in my classes. That's why you see like several versions of it. And I love this tangle because it's so much like Mooka, and I loved Mooka, and I just embellished it a little. I think you're going to love this tangle. Oh, by the way, it's called Hollis, and um, I'm going to sneak it in on a Saturday upload because um, I might as well. You're going to get it on Saturday morning. And I am just excited. So let's get to it so I can show you how to draw Hollis. First of all, I have to say, I did it on a brown round and I loved it. I loved it on brown. I did it on gray. This is kind of a light gray. And then also on just regular white tiles. Of course, all of those are just the regular um, black and white. But I'm going to do it on a note card because it just lends itself. To, when I taught it in class, I believe I taught it on uh, a note card. And um, it, Rick and Maria, if you go to their blog, you can read about Hollis and their, when they discovered it. I just love when they take a trip and they go to art museums and come back with wonderful new things. And I am Again, I have to say how grateful I am for Zentangle and how it's helped me um, throughout my 10 years of doing Zentangle. I haven't done that many years of videoing, but I have taught that when I became certified um, in, I believe it's 2009, so this, it's been 10 years ago. And um, so we're going to do Hollis because I'm so grateful for my um, Zendegle community and what they do. So we're just going to start on this note card. I'm not going to put a string because I can do the, this without. I'm just going to start down here in one corner and I am going to do a kind of a holly bar. I mean, uh, Mooka, excuse me, not Haliba. Mooka, Mooka type tangle. I'm going to come in a little bit so you can see. So you can see it's just a basic up curve and then follow it right back. And then we're going to put another one here. Come around and we're going to follow it back. And instead of ending, we're going to come right down that, that area. And then we're just going to build on this. So I can start another one here. And I can come back down. I can do one here. Come around. And I'm going to come right down and meet right there. So you can see how just absolutely graceful is the word I I think of when I think of this tangle. I love the the, the swirls and the different ways it can take off. And you can see, isn't that just wonderful? I love loopy things and viney looking tangles. Sometimes I just don't know when to stop. But I'm just going to fill this up. So there we have Hollis. Now I would, and I'm like, you can see, I, I took some of my favorite tangles and I put them in. This is one, two, three, I mean, one, two, three and um, field of flowers. Um, I really like that. On, as a matter of fact, I did that on almost all of them. This one I did um, 
a little, um, I can't remember the name of that tangle, but it was one I just taught. So you can use about anything. I'll just, just go in the little apex, double line, fill that in, and for fill the flowers, just a little, just so it nestles down in again. I just like to do the little petals, then little strokes coming up. And you can see how it's just taking off. Now for the card, I, I would put a border around here, and I've shown you that before. I just would draw a border. And if I have to stop, when I start again, I just leave a little um, sparkle in there. Because sometimes I can't draw it all the way across. So there I have my border on there. And then I can just go ahead and, and just fill this in. Um, I love the fact that we can shade. Look at how, what the shading does to this. And I shaded, let me see if I can find, ah. Here's one I haven't shaded yet. So let me just take this one and do a little shading on it so you can see. I, I like to shade on Hollis. I like to put a little graphite right here in that little curve. And I like to, you know, it depends on how much you want. But I'm going to put quite a bit. Then I'm going to take my shading stump and pull it out and blend it. You could use a colored pencil with this if you wanted to add color to your tangle. I know a lot of people love to add color and I do that with colored pencils. And, and that makes it fun, but you can see, voila! You have some depth and beauty in your tangle. I want you to to really encourage you to shade your tangles. And if you're doing on like a gray paper, you could, sh you could shade with a white pencil. And I'm just gonna draw a few more things on here and then I will, um, wrong pen. That's a PN pen, but I don't want that pen. I'm just gonna fill in a few more in the little crevices just everywhere that there is a little nook that I could draw, put one of these in, I will do it. I'm kind of cleaning up my um, studio and getting organized so that when I, um, after my surgery, I don't feel like I need to clean. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but they, it's so hard to sit and relax if you think you have things that need to be done. And um, if I had, and I have to admit, my art studio gets a little cluttery sometimes. And, uh, um, and you know what else I thought could be fun on this? Is to cap these off like this. And then do a little black here. And give Hollis a whole, you know, a whole new viney look. So I'm going to turn that all the way around and then I'm just going to... It just takes on a... You can just really use your imagination on these different... Um, tangles. I mean, I just and and there's. I love the fact that when Rick and Maria, no rules. It's you just you just kind of go with the flow, and your creative energy just comes out. And I can't stop on this one. I am really having fun with it. I think I'm going to have to do all of them. And you can
can see how it's just it will be fun to send these out I'm anticipating that I might be doing a few thank you cards I live in a very supportive community where my my class my Zentangle class I, I I love them so much each one of those people that come and I am look at that now it just needs some shading of course I would put some more little things in but because it's done on gray I can come in here and just take my jelly roll and give my little field of flowers a little pop there just give them a little extra. Um, let's see if I've got my white chalk. I do. I have my white chalk pencil. So I could come in here. And you can see I'm going to blend this. I might have wished I'd have done it with, instead of chalk with something else. But we'll see. Okay, I've got to get a clean shading stump. Remember that you can clean these off and for those who just use an emery board and then just clean it off, clean off all your graphite and then you can really reuse those. They are wonderful. And then I'm just going to soften that little white. And then you can also add, you know, some graphite to the stem and I'm going to take a different shading stump the one that already has a little graphite on it and voila there you have Hollis with a twist check out Zentangle's blog and um, you can see how Maria did it it's just fun to get lots of inspiration so that you can see my other um, designs. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're new. Um, you don't want to miss a thing. And new videos usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I have filmed ahead so I think I have enough videos for at least three weeks. But most of all I love you guys. Thanks a lot and enjoy Hollis. And have a great day.